Hi everyone. I thought that it would be um, fun to show you how dirty everything gets when I am sanding uh, my pieces ready to go into the kiln. So I'm currently uh, working on these copper pieces that I have shaped and molded. Let me see if I can get a better picture for you. So these have already been sanded. So these are pieces that are ready to go in the kiln. And I have some bracelet links that I'm working on right now. And as you can see, it is quite a mess. This is all the dust, all of my different sponges based on what the design is and what it is that I'm trying to do uh, for the piece. And so my sanding is a very, um, it's, it's kind of a time consuming process because I do work hard at refining a piece before it goes into the kiln because as this green wear stage, it allows me to uh, make any adjustments that I need to make. It allows me to uh, work on the pattern if I need to do that, uh, drill my holes, and uh, definitely uh, what I work on right now is smoothing my edges because as a piece of jewelry, you want those edges to be nice and clean and able to fit comfortably uh, so they don't snag your clothing um, and those kinds of things. So that's why the sanding part for working with metal clay is an important step. Um, now there are ways that you can alleviate some of this work and that is while the clay is wet you can use things like these uh, makeup tips or q-tips and those can help wet your clay edges. And that's one way of making those edges smoother. Uh, I do that sometimes, a lot just depends on my design. Uh, but I've been doing it like this for so long. And then this is just a little file that I use to uh, make all of my holes as even as possible and also as clean as possible. Again, I want this to be a clean, piece before it goes into the kiln. And then of course, I wipe away all the dust, brush, 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 make sure I like everything. I don't see any cracks. This would be the time that if, our, if there are cracks in the clay or if there are problems with the clay, then of course, this is the place to fix it. Now, I also don't spend a lot of time making it absolutely perfect. And the reason for that is because I do want the fact that I handmade this piece to be somewhat evident. Now, of course, we talk about quality, and of course, I, I've i always uh, wanted my pieces to be quality, uh, long-lasting, uh, especially when you're working with these metals, and you want it to be special, and it's not something that you just buy a piece of costume jewelry and throw it into a drawer. Uh, my pieces are all one of a kind, and for that reason, I believe strongly that the quality and the time that I put into each piece is to make that piece last as long as possible and to make that piece um, loved. Um, and it's, it's just a piece that a machine did not make this. Uh, these are truly handmade pieces. And I think, especially in my particular medium of art, in the jewelry world, especially on the art circuit, there's so many that are not playing nice. And, and, and all I mean by that is the fact that there are, especially in the jewelry category, which is for some people a very easy category to try to do what's called buy resell. And with buy resell, these are just simply people that go to some wholesaler and just buy a bunch of pieces that are made by production companies and then put those pieces out as though they actually handmade them. So um, when I do my work, I, I make sure, of course, obviously I'm not a machine, and so there will be flaws here and there. Now, obviously the flaws that I see on a piece are going to be something that my a normal person, someone who doesn't work in this media, is probably not even gonna notice. But to me, that's where quality comes in. The quality craftsmanship that you do in your work is how diligent you are, how patient you are, 
and also, um, you know, just using your skills, using the skills that God has given me, the skills that I've learned. I want those skills to produce a wonderful piece of jewelry. Now, of course, um, that means that sometimes um, it's going to be uh, some flaws. Like for this piece right here, might be a little hard to see, but you can also see that there's some nicks right here. And I used to try to get some of those nicks out. Now this is actually what the what these are, just some a little bits of clay that got onto the to the piece. And you see I notice you notice I can just pull that off. And I can of course sand it down like that. And that will get rid of that blemish. But of course it's that blemish that sometimes is is okay. I'm okay with it. Um, and I want to be sure, again, the quality is there, the strength, the durability, the ability to wear the piece that it doesn't, you know, it, that it's smooth on your skin or doesn't snag any of your clothing. Those are the things that I'm mostly concerned about. And so I don't mind if I have issues. For example, if you'll notice this piece, I actually molded this piece into a, uh, a cake, one of those um, cake fondue uh, molds. And I thought I really have been trying to work on my own dragon design. And so I thought, well, let me start off with this one and see what I can do with it. So it had a lot of nooks and crannies that I had to get in there and sand. Here's one of my sanding sticks that helps me do that. But you'll notice on the back, maybe you'll notice, you can see that there's still some thumbprints and some fingerprints in there. I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera. But the cool part about that is that the person who ends up with this piece, they are going to know that these fingers worked this clay. And while it's a molded piece, it's still going to be one of a kind because not only are my fingerprints in there, but the way that I shape it, the way that I finish this piece, which I'm hoping to finish with some jewels, um, is definitely going to be unique, okay? So that is sanding all of my work. Currently, my work in copper. And next, they will go into the kiln and hopefully turn out to be fabulous pieces of jewelry. Thanks for watching.